Hi there, my name is Henry Tenby. I'm the creator of Jetflix TV. And back in 2013, I had the amazing opportunity to document on video the world's last passenger carrying commercial DC-862 operation. Some of you might have read my article on this in Airways Magazine that was published in 2013. The story is Air Transport International was operating a US Air Force government contract flying Combi DC-862s between Travis Air Force Base in California and Hawaii and other points in the South Pacific. Because of cost increases in running the DC-862s, the decision was made to replace the aircraft with 757s, which I believe still operate through to this very day. But the DC-862s were special. They, of course, had been long retired by the passenger airlines, and very few were in operation with any kind of operation back in 2013. So this marked the final chapter of the DC-862, the JT-3 powered original engine stretch and DC-862 version of the DC-8 that was produced uh, in about 1968 to 1971-72. And these aircraft are of course now history. What we have for you here on Jetflix TV is a multi-show series from the footage that I filmed back then. This multi-episode series will present the DC-862 for you in high definition, and it'll show what it was like to work, fly, and be involved with this operation from the exterior, the interior, the cabin, cockpit, flights, taxing, aircraft maintenance, you name it, we include it all for you. So I hope you enjoy this episode. I hope you enjoy the series. Thank you for watching and enjoy the DC-862. sitting on a DC-862, uh, aircraft 799 Alpha Lima, and I was explaining the flight engineer's panel, and um, we were talking about the fuel system. Uh, the aircraft has four main fuel tanks, two alternate tanks, a center tank, and a forward ox tank. It holds uh, about 164,000 pounds of fuel. Uh, it's multiple redundant uh, cable-operated cross-feed valves. Um, then we have um, engine monitoring over here, oil quantity, oil temp, oil pressure, uh, N2, RPM is back here on this airplane. Uh, we have the hydraulic system, two main engine driven pumps on the inboard engines, uh, number two and number three engine. Uh, we have an aux pump, uh, electrically uh, driven aux pump. For the main hydraulic system, there's only one main hy hydraulic system on the DC-8. Uh, we have a spoiler pump, uh, electrically driven for spoiler operation. What, what's a spoiler operation pump? Well, the spoilers are for landing. Yeah, uh, the, the, uh, the wing spoilers. I yes, see yeah, wing spoilers. You have okay. uh, the airplane's equipped with uh, ground spoilers. Uh, there's no flight spoilers on the aircraft except for. Um, the outboard flight spoilers are connected to the ailerons uh, during uh, low airspeed flight. Okay. So they do intermix, but uh, the spoilers on a DC-8 aren't used for air brakes like other aircraft. Uh, this aircraft uses uh, TRs, the inboard TRs, uh, for uh, for rapid descent. And then air, aircraft's equipped with an emergency air brake bottle um, for for emergency. Uh, brakes in the event of hydraulic failure. Um, then we move over here, we have uh, anti-skid monitoring on this aircraft, Mark II anti-skid. Um, and then we have AC-DC uh, power generation is here. Uh, the aircraft has uh, 30 kVA generator on each each motor. Okay. Um, and then we have transformer rectifiers for for uh, DC power. This is all controlled right here. It's, uh, they're all synced and parallel together. Um, 
parallel generators. Uh, then we move down here, we have um, uh, bleed air monitoring, uh, engine bleed air control, uh, cabin pressurization controller. This aircraft is modified with, uh, with an ASCII uh, turbine system. Uh, it, the aircraft was originally configured with uh, turbo compressors. Uh, they've since since been removed, and we use uh, bootstrap compressors and a and a nasty flow control system. Emergency equipment up here for the flight attendants. Uh, seats 32. Um, panels are down for oxygen servicing. Oxygen bottles. Um, flight attendant position. One flight attendant. Typically? Well, we carry, we always carry two. Uh, yeah. yeah, flight attendants get sick from time to time. And uh, so we always carry two. And the FAR requirements, one per 50. Um, so we could use just one, uh, but we always bring two. And also to provide better service for the for our customer who who we provide service to. Right. And then here's the galley and lab facilities. I'll get out of your way. Oh, no problem. Hydraulic manifolds up here. Boiler uh, mixer box over here. Rotor pump is over here. I forgot to show that switch in the cockpit, but there's a auxiliary rudder pump right there. So what, what is the reason that the doors are kept in the down position? So we can look at the airplane oh, for inspection purposes. We'll operate the ailerons uh, mixed with the spoilers so you can see the flight spoilers connected to the ailerons as they come up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video clip. It's actually one of several promotional videos that we prepared to help us raise awareness for our multi-episode series titled DC-8 Farewell. It's a nine episode exclusive series all about the Air Transport International DC-862 operation in its very last days of service in the continental United States. We filmed the operation extensively, interviewed many of the staff. We had cameras recording the exterior, the interior, cockpit, wing views, you name it, it's all there. It's several hours of pure DC-862 viewing for the DC-862 hardcore enthusiast. The nine episode series streams exclusively on Jetflix TV, which is the aviation superfan streaming service. There's a pop-out in the upper right-hand corner where you can view the details of signing up for your own Jetflix TV account where you'll have access to over a thousand unique classic airline and classic jetliner videos that you will not find anywhere else. So I invite you to have a look, see if it might be for you. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate perhaps a thumbs up or any comments that you care to make. Thanks for watching. We've got more classic jet videos coming your way and we'll see you on the next show.